All right, so an anti-logarithm is basically doing the opposite of what you just did. You're basically solving for the natural log of something equals the number we're given. So you're going to see the word anti, uh, natural log, 0.0813. This is our example. And if you see the anti-log, you're just going to put this sentence frame there. Ln of x equals, and then your blank is the number. So whatever you're going to put in this blank is this number right here. 0 0.0813. Let's do this by hand. Class, what does this turn into? log base e of x to the 0 0.0813. Class, what form are we in here? Exponential or log? Let's turn this into exponential. There's my base. Class, what do I do with these two? Let's switch them. So now I have 0 0.0813 equals x. Now we can punch that into our calculator. <coughs> so I'm going to have second natural log 0 0.0813 and I press enter and I get 1.0847. One point zero eight four seven, and you can do the same thing we did on our last problems. You can actually check your answer because if you put in for the value of x, so natural log of that number one point zero eight four seven, we should get um, very close to that number, super close. Okay. Try another example. Partner A, tell partner B, what do you write when you see the word anti-log? Klaus, what are you going to write there? L n of x. And Klaus, what number do we write here? whatever number they give you, 4.1365. Ricardo, what is the natural log? Log base, e. log base E. We are in log form. We're going to exponential form. Put your finger on the base. There it is. Get up, grow up. We're going to switch these. Punch into your calculator. Remember that is next to the 4. It's in blue, so press second. The natural log 4.3165. Press enter. I get 74.9259. And you can double check your answer by putting it in back into X here. And press natural log of 74.9259. So natural log of 74.9259. And we should get this number. Boom. Nice. Two examples, anti-logs.